Hello creative friends, welcome back to my channel. I have an unboxing video for you today. Um, this is from the Inner Creativity Shop on Etsy. Um, I am so excited to announce that I am on their creative team. And so I got my first box in the mail and I'm going to open it with you. You can see I actually did uh, break the seal. But I first was so excited about this box. Like how cool is this? It's so fun not only to get snail mail, but to also have it be so pretty. Um, it just, I get so excited when I open the mailbox and um, pretty packages are there. So I want to open this with you and we will see what is inside. I'm pretty sure this is the winter and Valentine's Day release. So we'll we will check it out. Okay, a little note. So, Inner Creativity has acrylic pieces and sequin mixes. Ooh, oh my gosh, that is so pretty. Okay, let's, um, I see there's a mix of themes in here, so let's pull pull this out. And move that to the side. Get this out of the way. And we've got more of a Valentine's winter. I'm going to separate these out. Okay, let's do this love theme first. Okay, so first we've got all of my love with a little heart instead of the O's. That is really cute. Let's see. Actually, I think it shows up better on the white. Um, but I wanted to get an idea of measurements approximately. This looks to be approximately two inches wide at the widest point and three, three and a quarter. So it would fit into a page protector pocket if you wanted to. I love using these for titles on layouts, um, but I do put them in my pocket pages sometimes um, if they fit with the theme that I'm working on. So that is so pretty. We've got, I'm gonna save the mix for later word cute. I like the font. It's a really thick, um, chunky font, different than different than this more thin font. So that's fun to play with the different styles there. And this one is more clear. This one looks more opaque. Let's double check that off of the white backing. And yeah, so you can see that quite a bit more prominent. That can really, um, add to your layout depending on what your background paper is if you want something really opaque or if you want something that is um more i guess see-through there's a better word for that i'm not i'm spacing on that at the moment but let's put that over to the side let's do this one now this looks exciting there are a bunch of pieces in here. How fun is this? It's the white. Actually, I could probably are getting a glare off. Let me get just a white piece of paper. I think that will work out better because that way we won't get the glare off the plastic sheeting. How does that work? Okay, let's try that. Okay, so we've got these adorable hearts. Some of them, let's pull them all out and see how different they are. Okay, oh, it looks like I've got, I've got two white ones that are solid. Put that up there, you can see that better. These two red ones have a really gorgeous, um, like marbling, like a shiny marbling. Let's see if you can see that. Um, but I also love how they have these holes. Um, I have gotten into one of my newer 
hobbies is doing the charm dangles off albums and that's the first thing I thought of when I see these holes I can make some charms out of them that would be really fun now this one is really cute it also has a hole but it's more of a um, kind of like a shading that's where the shading would be on a dimensional balloon and I love this marbling with the white going through but it's a balloon that would be so cute to have um, like a draw a black line down Let's put those right there. You can see that. We've got a couple like eyeglasses shaped like hearts, super cute. We've got a few flowers, a red, um, like a dusty blue and a hot pink, gorgeous. We've got a couple little black hearts, and then we've also got the XOXO, but a heart instead of the O. Now I'm noticing, are they all? Yes, these also have um, holes in them. So those would work for charms too. That would be really fun to put hanging on one charm with some beads to um, fill in. That would be really fun, okay. Got an idea for that one. Got these lips, a hot pink and a red, same marbling going through. Oh, I like that side better. But that's what's an, another thing. I'm sure there is a front and a back. Like this one, I can tell there's a front and a back. There's more marbling and shininess on this side. And this side is definitely um, kind of a matte. You definitely could use it but I don't think it's quite as charming. This one, I think you could use either side. I think both sides look great. We've got two Valentine like envelopes, also with a little charm. Um, not charm, but the hole for that. I could make charms, you could make charms, or you could even just ignore that part and put it just straight on your layout in a cluster of various pieces. And the hole is so small, nobody's gonna notice it on your layout. Okay, leave those. I like the white ones up on the black. I think they're easier to see. And then lastly in this set, we have three kiss me um, word phrases. And these are pretty small. Let's see, they are one inch by about one inch. So that again would look, oh, wouldn't that be really cute together? I love that. Maybe with a little heart. I do, I like the little heart with those. Anyway, so that is from the mix. So let's move that to the side. There are so many pieces. In fact, I didn't count how many. Let's do now, right now, I believe all of these are on sale in the shop. So what a great time to go check them out. Now this, oh, this might be my favorite. This is so fun. Okay. So I'm gonna open it, because I wanna pull out a little bit of the product. But I do not want to spill it, let's see. Did I rip that enough? I might not have. You know, and it also, this packaging is so jammed packed. There is so much in here. Okay, so let's do a few here. I'm trying to decide. I brought over my sequin bowl to see which one would be easier. Let's hope every I have a sampling of everything in this. Um, I wonder if... I'm not sure. Okay, so there appears to be some beads. Put them in there so they don't get lost. And I do see more in there. I don't know if they came out. And then we've got your traditional sequins in kind of a hot pink a light pink and a red. And then these are adorable. Let's see if I can get these closer to the camera with it being in focus. 
little envelopes with a tiny red heart. I mean, you can't get more detailed than that. That's precious. Little heart with the white outline. There are some thicker, what these, when I say thicker, I think, I think these might, these are acrylic, I believe. These look like polymer clay or a clay. They're thinner. I could be wrong on that. I will need to look that up for sure. Oh, and then there are some um, star iridescent sequins. There's a whole um, very small and dainty. So, you know, there are several things you can do with these sequin mixes. Um, oh, look, I found a pink one too. Oh, I like that. I like all the colors. Um, so obviously you can do shaker pockets. If you do pocket pages, you can do a shaker element on a traditional layout, like a 12 by 12 layout. You can also use these as scattering pieces, like instead of doing a, um, um, uh, enamel dots, you can use these. You can also use these instead of splattering paint. If you're worried about being messy or you don't like being messy, this is a really controlled way of putting sprinkles and just some little um, added touches to your layout just to give it that extra pop of creativity. So let's put that in here for now. I will put those back into my bag once I stop the video. Do not want that to open. And not pretty, I'm gonna leave that up there so it's adorable to look at. Okay, that is the more Valentine love theme. Now also remember, we don't have to use these just for Valentine's. In fact, I don't really document Valentine's Day. My kids are older. They don't do exchanges with um, the cards at school anymore. But I do try to make maybe some pink cupcakes at home, or I love my dog, I love my kids. Anything can be cute. Um, any day-to-day -day thing that we're doing um, can be cute. All of my love, that can apply to family, pets, friends, anything. So again, this doesn't have to be holiday. It can be any type of love, relationship, um, or Valentine's Day if you celebrate that. So let's leave that to the end. Okay, so here is, I'm gonna move the white paper, Snowy Days. Let's take this out. This would be a great title for um, a snow layout. Now, you know what's so ironic is my kids were out of school two days last week, not because of snow, unfortunately. We thought there would be snow. Um, ended up being an ice storm, and there was just too much ice on the school campuses, so they had to close school for two days. Um, too bad we didn't actually get snow. So I think I'm going to go back to some older... Uh, years where we had some snowstorms to use these, which is actually really fun and motivating when you see really fun scrapbooking products. A lot of times it motivates me to go back in time and scrapbook some things I haven't done yet. Okay, so this one is approximately three inches wide, which makes for a great title, and approximately just over two inches, two and a quarter inches. So keep that there. Love the script. Love the script font of the um, snowy and then more of a straight line font in the days. It's a nice mix. Okay, now this guy's adorable. He is a very thin, thin wood veneer. Um, not too sure. I just want to double check if this is adhesive backed think it is because there's a piece of paper here yep so the wood veneer is adhesive backed we'll leave that there these are not just for 
clarification, but either using glue, I have sometimes used um, tape runner. I think glue might be the best since these are a little heavier than say paper, um, but in a pinch I've done this a lot of times and so far I haven't had a problem. So we've got the adhesive back and then we've got this acrylic burr. Um, that again, oh, wouldn't those go great together on a snow layout or if you're building a snowman? Um, that is adorable. I love it. I should make it this way because it just kind of fits into the nook, the spiral of the S. I love that. Um, but you know, you don't always have to be as literal. I tend to be very, somewhat literal with my scrapbooking, but you don't have to. I think this is cute and can be used anytime that you're having maybe a cold spell in your area, even if you live in a warmer climate, but you really love this snowman and it's cold out, you can just use it as kind of a symbolic um, element on your page that it is very cold out. Er. Um, now these are blue. I think you can tell that in the, in the light. Yes, these were blue and just for clarification in the love theme, it's black. So that's a nice contrast. I like having something different than black all the time. And then this, well, let's put this back on the white. Winter Memories, again, a really nice scripted font for the word winter and more of a block um, sans serif for the memories. So that is fun. And that is the same blue as this. So those would go really well together. I do really love these. Anyway, and then actually, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these sequins back so I can pull out the blue ones and maybe use this tray if I need it. Okay, now this is our winter sequin mix. I see some fun pieces in here that I did not see the, when I first pulled this out. Let's try this. Now again, I think this, the same ideas that I mentioned for this would also apply to this. They can be used instead of enamel dots. They can be used in shakers. They can be used as scattering bits on a layout. So many, so many options. And this, what's fun about contrasting these two is they're slightly different. I mean, they're both sequin mixes, but there are some different elements. We've got little penguins. I mean, oh my gosh. I don't know if on camera you can see that. Let me see if I can pull these up and still keep it in focus. I think that works. Aren't those adorable? Oh my gosh, and the detail, there's eyes and a beak. Oh, and a scarf. That's amazing detail. And then snowflakes. We've got some, um, just some, um, like sprinkle bits, definitely some blue actual sequins, some traditional sequins. Oh no, these are really fun. Actually, I'm gonna pull out because I'm having a hard time picking these up. Now these are, I would say these are sequins. However, I wonder, let's see if I can, um, see that? Yeah, it is, Glimmer. It's almost like an opaque, um, glittery sequin with a hole at the top instead of the traditional center. So that is really different. Super fun. I pulled out the black one because I thought maybe you could see it in the black tray a little bit better. What else? Oh, and then I see some some of the similar holographic stars. And I think that is a complete rundown of the pieces that are in here. Oh, no, not quite. 
me see. This looks like the same material as the star, but in a heart. Pull that up there. And then I saw, this is probably the inside cutting of the inside of that particular star. And now I think we have all the pieces. Those are fantastic. So that's kind of a sampling of what you get in the winter theme. Just thought I saw something different. No, actually, I thought I saw something different. And the reason was is because in the light, these shine different colors. And so in different lights, they look like different shades of blue. So it almost feels like you're getting different shades and yet it's only one style. So that'll be fun. So again, you can do, I think it would be super fun. Let's see if we did a white, like, let's say this is your title on your page. And then you want to just do some scattering. I'm having problems picking these up, which is a really, this ends up being a really handy tool. I'm going to use the darker ones because of the white paper. Um, in fact, am I making this too hard for myself? Let's try this. Although then I don't think these will show up on the, well, they do. Okay, let's try that. So let's say this is your title on your layout. And then look, you can do some splatterings of these different pieces. The snowflakes are perfect. Let's we need some sequins up there. Now when I'm gluing these down, I will definitely make sure that the area that um, is more protruding is down flat and I'll glue that down. Um, it will probably, if you're wanting to glue these smaller ones down using just a little drop of glue and then maybe like a poking tool or a, a fine pin to move them where you need them to go. Just like I'd want that heart to be upright. The glass mat is probably making it slippery. Oh, look what I found. I found a star. So that would be adorable. Let's get a little penguin up here. And I haven't pulled out one of these yet, so we'll just do that for now. Okay, great. So that is, those are the products in the Inner Creativity Shop. Um, they are on Instagram and their shop is on Etsy. Check them out. I think they're having a sale on all of these products right now. Um, if you have any questions, you can leave me a comment below and I will link their shop in the comments below. Have a great day.